Hey, it's Michelle Green, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up conversion tracking um, for Google Shopping. Uh, the Google Shopping app in Shopify installs the app, but it doesn't insert tracking so that your Google AdWords account can track conversions. So this video is going to show you how to do that. First thing you want to do is log into Google Ads, go to Tools, click on Conversions, and here you'll see a list of tracking uh, details that the Google Shopping app will automatically install. Um, but as you can see, the tracking status says unverified, and this is because we still need to add the tracking codes. So all the tracking codes you need, you can find under uh, Google Shopping app purchase. So click on that. And then scroll down to the second section that says tag setup and click on it click on install the tag yourself and here you'll see two tracking codes um, that you're going to need to install. So the first thing you want to do is uh, copy the first tag, go back into Shopify, go to online store. Um, from action select edit code. Click on theme.liquid, scroll down to the ending head tag right here, and you want to paste that code just before the closing head tag here, and then click save. Next you want to go down to settings. Click on checkout. Scroll down to additional scripts and paste that code in there as well. There's going to be additional snippet of code that I'm going to provide in the description of um, this video. There'll be actually three snippets. And you want to take that first snippet and paste that before the tag. Okay, and this just makes sure that they're only tracking visitors once. So that's what that code is going to do. And then there's another tracking code that we'll need to add in here. So what you want to do is go back into AdWords, scroll down to that second code, which will be the event snippet, copy it, and then paste that beneath the first snippet. And what you're going to do is replace these two values here um, with the codes, the second codes that I have provided in the description of this video. And what you're going to do is you're going to replace everything after the colon for these two pieces of information. So, which is value, you want to replace this after the code here. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. a second line so I'm gonna backspace to bring that back up to the line the double space after the colon and next thing we're going to replace the transaction ID value so we're gonna remove everything after the colon and then paste that in there and then click save. So what replacing those are going to do is it's going to allow you to track the um, transaction value. So without it, it's just going to track conversions. It won't track the um, sale dollar amounts. And you know you want every additional layer of data that you can possibly get to kind of help you make decisions in the future. So this is going to add in the tracking for the dollar amount. So with these updates, when you go into AdWords and go to Tools and go to Conversions, um, the tracking status will update within 24 hours to say uh, verify 
Uh, with the exception of purchase, you won't see anything until that until you get your first purchase, and then that will update. Um, but now you will also see your trans your conversion data in here, so that you can measure you know how much money you're making or how many conversions you're getting versus the amount you're spending versus the clicks the number of clicks that you're getting. So that's how you set up conversion tracking for the Google Shopping, uh, Google Ads um, app. If this has been helpful to you, please leave a thumbs up and also leave a comment letting us know how this information has helped you. Thank you.